Hey folks, today I just wanted to quickly show you how I make YouTube thumbnails with Apple's Keynote application. Now there's all sorts of applications, web apps and even iPad apps now that will allow you to make great YouTube thumbnails. But I've been using Keynote for a while and I'd like to just show you how easy it is to make a thumbnail in Keynote. So here we go. The first thing you need to do is start a slide deck. So file, new, and you don't want standard, you want wide because it's closer to the correct dimension. So I'm just going to choose this white one and click choose. Here is my new slide deck. You can see I don't have any thumbnails yet going here. But I'm going to come over here to document and then I'm going to go to the slide size which is currently widescreen. I'm going to change that to custom and I'm going to go 1280 by 720 because that's what YouTube suggests. At this point you can just create a slide that is going to function as a YouTube thumbnail. So you could click here and start uh, typing in some text. You could also go up to the shape tool and create shapes and stripes or whatever it is that you want to do. I'm actually going to jump back to this other slide deck that I've got going here because once you start creating thumbnails, the great thing about Keynote is you can just duplicate and edit. So I've just duplicated one here. I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to right click, duplicate. I've got another um, watch later thumbnail that I can change into my new thumbnail. So doing this is really great when you are wanting to do a series of thumbnails that kind of match each other when you've got some branding going on. So you'll notice I've got the same image on everything. I could come in here and say, you know, now I'm going to make a create thumbnail. I can delete stuff, I can move some things around, but I could keep the same font and the same colors. The tools are pretty simple. I can click on things, I could toggle over to a range, I can change the angle of something, and eventually I can have something that looks like this created some text and I've tossed in an image here that I grabbed on the internet to illustrate uh, my YouTube thumbnail here and now I need to export it to an image because currently it's just part of a slideshow. So I go up to File, Export to Images. Now if I export all I'm going to end up with a ton of images. I really only need number two slide number two you can see here is the one that I want so I'm just going to go from two to two and then I could do JPEG high quality I could do all of these things but I'm actually going to choose PNG because I know that that's going to put it at a size that will work nicely with YouTube I'm going to click next that brings up my finder window where I can send it wherever I want I'm actually going to stick it in my downloads folder here and I could change the name but this is just populating the name of my keynote file I'm going to click export it creates the image and now if I go to my downloads you can see that I've got uh, a folder there that would contain all of my images I just exported I happen to only export this one if I preview that really quickly you can see that I am now ready to go with a YouTube thumbnail for creating thumbnails on a Mac with keynote I can now run over to YouTube and upload this custom thumbnail. 